Right, welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. I'm on a special little journey today all the way to Bangladesh. I know it's not the right time at the moment. Um, I've seen on the news for the last couple of days, it's a lot of flood where the region where I'm going to go. However, I think this is an opportunity to go and see uh, the rural life of Bangladesh. And hopefully I can help some poor and needy people as well. So um, for me, I think it's a fantastic opportunity to go and see and visit my country uh, of Bangladeshi heritage and show you guys an amazing experience. I'm going to be flying with Qatar Airways. Um, I booked it via the internet. Uh, it cost me about £818, which is pretty decent for this time. Whereas I could have went and uh, with Bangladesh Biman, but they didn't have the selected dates um, and it was costing me about £11-1200. £1, um, so I'm going to try my utmost to vlog the journey until I get to uh, Bangladesh. So I can't go to the region um, where I'm from, however, I will be going and staying with uh, some relatives and I'll show you my journey. So make sure you watch till the end for a lovely experience of my visit to Bangladesh via Qatar Airways. Welcome to Heathrow Terminal 4. Right people, so I've just boarded. Um, I was one of the first people in the queue. Um, it was about, my flight is at nine o'clock. I was queuing from six o'clock. And by the time I got to the counter, let's just say I waited about 20, 30 minutes. And the guys behind the till, um, sorry, behind the counter, uh, trying to board me in, requested um, obviously all the documents and the COVID certificates etc or the NHS app which are provided um, but because I'm traveling to Bangladesh, Bangladesh declare Bangladesh need a declaration of health so they told me to quickly fill up a form which I had to do online um, so I quickly went to the website tried to do it there may have been a glitch in the system I, I wasn't very happy at this point because I was very excited for the journey um, but nonetheless uh, i'm still in good spirits but it was a bit annoying um i know it's all these health regulations and stuff like that but anyway so i'm cheering myself up before boarding obviously you need to uh, get rid of all your liquids so well, i bought two bottles of water one i'm going to try to finish and i've got loads of snacks check these out loads of crisps and um sandwiches and stuff because I get very hungry so um, I'm going to finish my water and I'm going to go through the gates uh, for uh, I'm going to go through to departure and then see if the gates are open but our seats and everything's reserved now we should have a very good time right so security check done and now just want to show how empty the airport is I hope the flight's going to be a bit empty Right, very empty airport. It's quite eerie. I hope there aren't many people on the plane find a few seats can lie down. I haven't slept. Um, normally, I stay awake about two, uh, about two thirty, two forty of Salat al-Fajr early in the morning so I stayed awake till about three o'clock couldn't sleep so then I ended up making something to eat uh, so yeah I should be sleeping in the plane hopefully very empty as you can see so let's see gate number five it is and chill out until we get called to get into the plane. Right, first meal mashed potato with a beef stew, side order of coleslaw and a cheesecake. 
So how can I describe the meal? It wasn't the best in the world as you can see. However, when you're really hungry, and that was the first meal since I had a sandwich, although I had snacks, I didn't really eat it. Um, just was anticipating uh, the journey and I thought I'll, when, once I'm in the flight I'll be eating so the coleslaw was pretty plain and simple um, I, I, I would have wanted it to be more flavorful if they used a quali uh, quality decent mayonnaise and used a lot of it then obviously that would have had a bit of flavor uh, as you can see from the beef there you can see some of the cumin and everything but it wasn't spiced enough how it should be um, the stew is just an average stew, that's all it was. The potato was nice and buttery, which was pretty good. The best dish from this menu was the cheesecake. Nice little bits on the jam, uh, creamy cheese, nice buttery digestive biscuit. So yeah, I did really uh, enjoy that towards the end. Um, and they, I normally like uh, a buttered uh, bun bread. They didn't give that, they gave a, a piece of cake it looked like, but then I found out it was bread. It was already buttered, they whacked it in the microwave, um, so it became like a that, that donut texture. So I didn't really enjoy that, not very good at all. So that was my first meal experience. Right, snack time. So this was the fajita sandwich, they said. It looked like um, chicken in a pastry. Um, it was meant to be fajita flavored. It wasn't very flavorful at all. It was shredded, sort of almost pureed uh, chicken inside. Um, the pastry was nice, uh, but it was down with some nice cup of tea. The tea was pretty okay, so that was the savior. With a bit of sugar and a bit of milk did the job beautiful. I just want to mention it's a bit hectic here I've traveled all the way from London to Doha and now the whole plane is fully booked it's about 650 yep, 657 and the flight's meant to be at 655 and it's massive mayhem over here I'll quickly show you there you go as you can hear it's very crazy over here I think the whole plane is fully booked we had a nice peaceful journey all the way from London but now it's really hectic it's a bit of a mayhem over here I'm a bold as you know. Right, 
my last meal uh, this was like a butter chicken with pita rice and some mixed vegetables green beans etc this was probably the best meal uh, during the trip uh, because it was more flavored nice rich chicken uh, which was nice and surprising the rice was wonderfully flavored and uh, the vegetable had a slight little crunch to it so I was quite surprised how everything was cooked uh, to uh, perfection nearly um, a little salad uh, with those seeds I don't know what the seeds were but it was very bland um, it should have I don't know maybe had a vinaigrette or something it would have made it wonderful um, diced vegetables and um, sort of like a sprouty wheat kind of thing and a little filmy which was like a dessert which was horrible to be honest uh, and frank it was too much overpowered with cardamom it should have been i don't know uh, very subtle with a slight sweetness and a slight um, sour to it um, if it used that yogurt tea so um, it wasn't like a rice pudding uh, it was more like a yogurt thing and again they gave that really awful bread Right, I've just landed in Bangladesh um, and I've been picked up by a car. Now we're on our way. I could have uh, vlogged inside uh, the airport. It was really busy, really hectic. Um, so now I'm in Bangladesh. It's early in the morning. It's not too busy at the moment. But this is Dhaka city. <laughs> 